مجمع الأندلس التعليمي تعلم عصري ملهم بهوية وطنية وقيم إسلامية السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Dear students of grade 10 Still with Mr. Ayman Still with the 10th unit That's challenging Still with the reading passage About the story of the man and the girl If you remember I will be happy if any of you can remind me of the story and summarize it otherwise i have to set the objectives for today's lesson we aim to relate five highlighted words in the text with their appropriate meanings we want as well to circle the correct words after learning about prepositional phrases and by the end to choose the correct options between three a b c in the sentences one to six let's start is there anyone who can read the instruction in task a look at the highlighted words in the text and match them with their meanings the meanings are a great b complete c not pleasant to live in d cousin and happiness e dry and without any plants the highlighted words in the text are inhospitable barren miserable absolute and immense go back to the text and find out their meanings let's start with the first one inhospitable means not pleasant to live in it see barren it's a dry and without any plants a dry place without any plants miserable means causing unhappiness or being so sad absolute means complete and immense means great the same word should be said to you great for your performance i will be happy if you can use any of these words in your own sentences and now let's learn about prepositional phrase A prepositional phrase begins with a preposition and ends with a noun or a pronoun. Prepositional phrases are modifying phrases. Prepositional phrases can answer questions like when or where. Like when you say in 40 minutes or to the mall. and here a set of prepositional phrase without you can say out of fashion out of print out of one's mind out of pity out of place out of sight with on you can say on a diet on a business trip on a journey on foot with for you can say for ages for breakfast for a long for time and within you can say in a hurry in addition to in comparison in detail you can use at when you say at the end of or at the top of or at all costs or at hand There is a second list in your student's book in page 125 the vocabulary task pause the video and look at the prepositional phrases in the table and then circle the correct words in the sentences that come next from 1 to 8 so let's learn which words or phrases can be joined to the preposition in you can say in case of in general in particular in charge of in person in this pair and 
and in a row. Out of work, out of the question, out of one's mind, out of the ordinary, out of reach. You can use either in or out of with danger. So you can say in danger or out of danger, in control or out of control, in sight or out of sight. You should pay attention that the meanings are totally different. In trouble or out of trouble. In use or out of use. In shape or out of shape. In order or out of order. Is everything clear? Show me that you really understood everything and play this game. Let's do it. With of or to. In need of. In honor of as well. In connection with. In comparison to. Excellent. In favor of in contact with you can of course revise your answers otherwise let's submit them you are doing very well excellent and now let's finish with the last task you have seven sentences and you have to choose between two prepositions to form the prepositional phrase, the correct prepositional phrase. Pause the video and think of it for a while. You're back. Number one, we waited until the car was out of sight. Excellent. You can't use the lift. It was out of order it's not in use i'd like to speak to whoever is in charge of the project and keep chemicals out of the children's reach the police are once again in trouble or control of the situation of course in control of the situation number six this map is out of use or out of date we should get a newer one so it's out of date and i love extreme sports skydiving in particular great try to verify if all your answers were correct you can give a mark for yourself and now go to page 135 to the review and let's do more practice with these vocabulary items. Pause the video, think of it and come back quickly as usual. So, let's start with the first one. Should I give this to Mr. Knowles? No, thanks. I want to give it to him in person. The little girl wandered off the trail and got lost. Bungee jumping was a terrifying experience for me. Tyler lost his contact or life or temper in the end and shouted at everybody. He lost his temper. I run up or into or out of an old friend. I run into an old friend the other day and we arrange it to meet again next week. The teacher gave the students a pathway or a walk out or a walk through on how to do the project. It's the last choice. Excellent. 
try to give a mark for yourself and think how to use the same prepositions in Arabic. Ask your Arabic teacher. And for now, let's finish with this challenging game. Ready? Okay. So we want to classify those phrases into two categories in a sort to form the correct prepositional phrase. So in and on. So what shall we say? In a mess. Yes. In the future, in the mood for, yes, on tour, excellent, on holiday, on the verge of, in a hurry. In tears, in the future, on the phone, in cash, in charge of, in debt, in public, in the meantime, in the long run, in trouble, in one's interest, in particular, on second thoughts, on behalf of, on good terms, on the run, on fire, on sale, on pubs, and on display. Are you sure? Let's verify it. Thank you for your efforts. And here we are at the end of the lesson. Thank you for your attention. Do your best. Be ready for the exams. And salam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. مجمع الأندلس التعليمي تعلم عصري ملهم بهوية وطنية وقيم إسلامية